Hi, this is Edith, Instructional Innovation Trainer at Klamath Community College, and in this video I'm going to go over the Prezi presentation program, how to create a Prezi, and the features that are available to you. Prezi presentation does have two types of versions. They have either the free version, which anybody can get, but it has limited features, and then there's a pro version that's available. Those who work for education actually have a better price. So if you're really finding that you're going to use Prezi a lot, I would recommend that you look into purchasing the educational version. When you get to the Prezi presentation page, you can click on login if you already have created an account, or you can click on get started and get a free account. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and click on login. I will log in with my Google account because my Google account is not a paid one, so I want to show it to you as non-paid. This is the front page of Prezi when you first come in. We have a choice between Prezi Next and Prezi Classic. I prefer Prezi Classic, so that's the part I'm going to go over. But the other thing about Prezi is that it's not very user friendly. So you really have to kind of really work with it to understand how to use it. But once you get it down, it's really actually a very good tool. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to Prezi Base. You won't have any templates. So Prezi Base is where you would go to get those. Many of the templates in Prezi Base do cost money. You can see that they do have prices here. Be very careful unless you're really, really serious about doing Prezi. I would not recommend buying one yet. However, there are free Prezi templates available. So if you click on that, you can actually come in here and look for whatever template you want to use. I think there's about 10 pages of free templates. And so you just go in and you look at them and you decide which one you want. Go ahead and say I want this one. So I'll click on it and then it'll take you over to the page. And I'll take you to the page to get it. And then you can actually see what it looks like. So I can present it and see what, what it actually is going to have within the presentation. Go ahead and click on use template. And then when you have your email associated with your Prezi account, that's the account that you're going to use there. However, I already have the template that I want to use, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Present. And the reason why they have you come to the Present page here is because this is where all of your sharing tools are available. So if I want to present remotely, I can do that through here. I can actually download a copy of my presentation so I can show it at a local environment, maybe in a classroom, without having to go online. I can actually carry it around with me on my flash drive, or if you're using your OneDrive, you can download it there as well. You can save a copy so that if you want to use this later on, there's also sharing. So this gives you a link to share with other individuals so they can just click on it and view it at their, at their leisure. I can also embed it into a website. It's possible we can embed it into Canvas. I have not found out yet, but if we can, I will let you know. Hidden and reusable is basically you don't want anybody to see it except for those who have the link. You can also delete the Prezi here. You can add comments here. There is a the ability to create closed captioning if you have audio associated with the Prezi. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit, and this is when I'm going to edit the full presentation. And as I said, that um, Prezi is not very user friendly, so I, I do want to caution you. But again, it takes time and patience to learn how to do it. But once you do, it is really a great tool. One thing I want to show you here when you first get in, use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Another thing I do want to caution you about is that if you want to put in pictures or anything, other types of text, you have to stay within the frame. This one doesn't really give you a good idea where the frame is, but I am imagining the circles are going to be the main frames there. So if I want to insert an image, and this is where you're also limited with the free version versus the paid version. In the free version, you can only insert images from your computer here. That's just images. So let me go ahead and grab an image. Here, we'll grab that one. Okay. And you, your image may be too large. You can have Prezi automatically resize it for you, which I'm going to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this little guy outside of that one there, which is my slide three. 
So let me go ahead and click on present and I just want you to see. So let's go ahead and go on to introduce your topic, right? And we see that up here, I have my paw prints. So when I go into, let's go ahead here, I'm gonna go ahead and present. And so there's my first slide, my second slide, Yes, you can see it here, but let's go to the third slide where I was thinking I was going to put it. And you can see that I cannot see it because it's no longer in that frame. So you have to keep it within your frame. Let me go ahead and show you perhaps another presentation. If you can, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for just a second. So I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and go in here. You can see here, this is the frame that I was talking about. There's a little rectangle there. So anything outside that rectangle will not show up in the presentation. It will show up on your editing screen and it will, you know, you'll think that you have it and you don't. So be very careful about that. So these rectangles are helping to guide you where the information needs to go. With this one, it is actually the circles that are guiding us. So I'll go ahead and drag this in here. The other thing I do want to show you while I have this uh, selected, I have other options in here as well. With Pro, you can actually change the effects of the image, such as um, maybe sharpening the image or putting a frame around it or blurring out the edges, just different types of things. So if that's something that you find that you want, you will have to buy the Pro version. And again, educational employees have the ability to purchase at a discount. So I'm going to go ahead and click present and I'll show you now that it will be in that third slide. And there it is. So just make sure you keep it inside your frame. And that's what's really nice about the preview or the present button here is that you can actually see this in real time, how it's going to look to the individual. And Prezi is really good about showing you the screen as well that you need to edit within. So just be aware of that. The other things you can do with insert is you can insert symbols and shapes. These are all available to you. So you can just click on it and then drag and drop, or you can double click it and move it around as well. You can also include a YouTube video and that's kind of nice. So you just go and grab the URL and just pop it in there and it will also show up in there. I can also save any of these features as a favorite. So if I save it as a favorite here, if I want to include it in my favorites, you can see now it's over here. So if I add a bunch of these, so I don't have to go insert symbol and shapes or image or any of these things. I could just add them to the favorites and have it, have it accessible to me. Charts, again, it is a pro feature, so if you want to put charts in, you may have to purchase the pro version. Charts are nice in the sense that you don't have to build it on Excel. It actually has a spreadsheet function in the pro version, and you can add the data in there and just use it from there. Layouts are the different types of layouts, so different frames here. So I can actually say I want to add another frame in here, and I want Prezi to go ahead and... Um, go to this next afterwards. So what I can do since I I see that this is number 12 and maybe I want it to come after slide 3, I can take that and just drag and drop it into the slide area that I want it to go into. So now it becomes 4 and you can see the number changes to 4. So that changes my pattern. That changes my order of my frames. I can also do multi-frames, so if you like more frame, you know, you want to get really digging deep into something, you can actually add those as well. And then say again, I can move that back up here and make it number five. I can draw an arrow. And what I like about the arrow function in here is if I draw the arrow, I can actually make it more circular semicircle and almost a full circle and we'll go the full way but you know you can grab something and, and put it into that circle there. You can also draw a line. Same thing. You can also make it kind of round. I also have a highlighter that I can highlight over so maybe I want to highlight something and use it as a, a, as a marker to show somebody something. I can add background music so if you have a WAV file or an MP4 file you can actually bring that in as well. Um, I can bring in a PDF file or, or a file from my computer or I can bring in a PowerPoint which is kind of interesting since this is a type of 
program that is similar to PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm going to go ahead and pause because it sometimes takes a few seconds for this to download. You can see now that my, file, my PowerPoint has been imported and I can actually drag and drop those in there. So let me go ahead and grab my screen five here and I can just put that in here. This actually creates a whole nother slide. As you can see, it just popped in there. So what it's going to do is it's going to come in and focus in on that. And we'll see that in just a few minutes. Another thing that I do want to show you is with the arrows. Another thing I want to show you is with the arrows and the lines, same, same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and select the arrow here. Use your wheel to zoom in and out. Let's see if it'll let me do it now. So you can see that it kind of grew a little bit. I, I can make it really skinny. I can also change the color if I choose to do that as well. And again, there's your favorite. I can also just delete it. If you want to do text, so here you can see I have text. If this information is already here, you can click on edit text. And then I get this box here. I can change the, the heading style so I can go from title to subtitle to body. I can change the size of the font, make it smaller or larger here. I can also change the color. I can change the font style. You get quite a bit of different font styles available to you. I can bold it, I can italicize it, I can change the background of the box. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me options of colors, but I can change the background so it stands out. I can also bullet it, I can justify it, and I can indent it either way. And I can hide parts of my, um, of my menu up here, that's all that is. I can also shrink this width. It doesn't shrink the, the text size, it just shrinks the size of the box. This will shrink the box as well as the text. So when you're all done with editing your text and your pictures and you want to see how it looks, you can go ahead and go into present. And then this has automatic arrows so I can just kind of flip through and say okay you know I like the way this looks. And this is kind of nice. I'm showing you how the presentation looks for the individual who's going to be viewing it. So there was the PowerPoint being shown and, and really focused in on. And I'm just going through each of the different slides. And now I'm done. If I go over here, I actually can go to the home. I can zoom in and zoom out from here as well. This is our edit button. But one thing I do want to show you here, you can get out of full screen mode by clicking here. You can also do autoplay. Now with autoplay, four seconds is usually going to be just enough. So let's go ahead and see how, it, how long it takes. I'm going to show you the four seconds. So this gives me the option not to have to click on it. It just goes in and does it for me. 10 seconds is really a long time. You can see that four seconds almost seems to be just about right. So I'm going to go ahead and once I clicked out of the full screen, I was back to the edit menu. You can also click on here and it will do the same thing. The other thing is, is that your um, Prezi is automatically saved, but you can save it as well just by clicking on here. I did not go over the customize button, so I will show that to you as well. What the customize button does is it just changes the color scheme of the presentation. So you can have different colors popping up. And that only just changes the frames and everything. So it does not change the background color. To change the background color you come up here. You can see here I can actually delete the gray background and then maybe make it all green. Okay, so you have those av available to you. Perhaps I didn't like it, I can click my undo button. The last thing that I'd like to go over is the edit path. And here you can see that I have the path. If I want to delete a slide, maybe I have too many and I, you know, I don't need all of these slides. I can actually delete them out and I don't have to use them. They just become non-existent into my presentation. The other thing that you can see here, I have animation available. So right here, this means that there is an animation in the frame. I'm going to look for one that has a better animation. Uh, 
So I can actually animate this frame. It doesn't have an animation yet, but I can animate it. What it's saying is it's animated because it's coming to this screen. But let's go ahead and add an animation. So I click on that. You see I have a number one now. So when I play this, I can see how it's going to work. So I can say I'm done. Let's go ahead and present. And then you can see it in action. And that's all it does. And so that's basically Prezi presentation in a nutshell. Um, when you're all done, go ahead and click exit. That will save your, your Prezi for you. And it will bring you back to this screen here. So you can do a preview or do other things with it as well. You can, you can even add a comment if you would like to. The link that you send to any of the individuals you want to view this presentation, this is actually what they would see here as well. You can see that I have the latest presentation that I've edited. It's the very first one. I can always go in here and delete it. And when I go in to present, it will bring me over here. If you want to change the name of your Prezi, go ahead and hover over here and click on your little edit pencil. And then you can change the name here. Click Save. If you use a Prezi presentation and you know this is a template that you're going to use again, I would save a copy before editing. Save a copy and then it will put it on your desktop for you here on your dashboard so that you can come back to it later. So I'm going to go ahead and click save a copy just to show you what it looks like when it comes in. So each time I save a copy, it will show up on my dashboard. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me. My email is warden at clamacc.edu. My extension is 340. And you can always find me on Skype for business. Edith Warden. Thank you and have a great day.